Yes, you read it correctly. This used to be PDD's old mansion here in Beverly Hills, California. Now it gets better. It has been recently remodeled, now on the market for $14,500,000. Here are the rest of the specs on this property. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agents, Aaron, Alex, and Dex for getting us in here. In fact, we're gonna get a chance to talk to Dex and the designer of this property later in the tour. And now, let's get started. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Driveway takes you to the two car garage. And as we continue, we have this walkway here taking us to the entry of this property. First door here opens up to an outdoor atrium. Now, what's so cool about this space is the fact that we have natural stone floors, stone clad walls, and right in the center, we have this awesome olive tree. And behind that, we have a water feature setting the tone as you walk into this property. Now, the exterior facade is clad with glass because as soon as you walk in to the home, you see the amazing views of the entire city. Super awesome. We even have a balcony here that we're gonna check out in a bit. Around the corner, we have the door opening up to the two-car garage. And this entry is super spacious skylight above us and we have the staircase here going down to the lower two levels now mikey let's step outside because views are phenomenal now we have this balcony located on the third floor and the views are sensational i mean we have the city in front of us all the way to the ocean granted it's a little hazy today so the views are not perfect but on a clear day you can pretty much see the entire city in fact right behind that hill you can actually see the views of downtown los angeles very nice very nice right now, let's step inside, Mikey, and continue our tour. And on this level, we have the entry and the primary bedroom suite. And this property consists of three levels. So we're starting our tour on the third level. This is where we have the elevator access. And continuing here, we have windows, skylights above, and these double doors open up to the primary bedroom suite. Now, as soon as you walk in, you have beautiful hardwood floors. Room is extremely spacious. And of course, this space is all about the amazing views. I mean, look at this, Mikey. King size bed, nice seating area. I love this curved wall detail here with a fireplace. And below it is all clad with this stainless steel finish, which is something we're not used to seeing quite often. Yeah, super nice. If I lived here, I wouldn't go anywhere. I know. I mean, this is a really nice primary bedroom suite. Look at this. All glass facing the views. You have a wraparound balcony, sliding glass doors opening up to that balcony that we're gonna see in a bit. But first, I wanna take everybody through this door. This is where we have the walk-in closet. Now, this room is just as spacious as the rest of the bedroom. Wood paneled walls, open hangers, drawers set up on the bottom, and we have additional cabinetry on the other side. Pretty good size walk-in closet. Now, Mikey, we have two doors opening up to the primary bathroom. We're gonna start our tour here. Some built-ins on this side. And right in the center, we have this floating vanity design with two sinks. First one is right here, open shelving on the right, natural stone countertops, and I really like this ceiling mount mirror design with LED lighting on each side. Gives it that nice modern texture. And as we walk in, Mikey, first water closet is located here. I say first because we have another one on the other side. Your first walk-in shower, you have double of everything, super spacious, all stone clad. You have your rain head, handheld, and even your steam outlet, pretty much everything you need, right? And going back into the bathroom, right in the center, we have this freestanding tub with a chrome tub filler, and look at these views. You have the entire city right below you. These views just can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, agreed. Now, let's continue our tour. Another water closet here. Another walk-in shower, rain head, handheld, everything you need. Pretty good size primary bathroom. For sure. Now, Mikey, let's go back into the primary bedroom suite because of course your bedroom has a sliding glass doors opening up to a private balcony. And there you go. You have the city in front of you. This is pretty awesome. We're here in Beverly Hills. Now, that's it for the third floor of this property. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor.
staircase design of this property is super cool. Open riser, modern design, glass railing, and we have these wood paneled walls. And right in the center, we have this landing area dividing into two sections and bringing you down to the second floor of this property where we have the living room, dining area, and the kitchen. But first, I wanna take everybody here, elevator access for the second floor, staircase going down to the lower level, and continuing our tour, we have this door opening up to the powder room. Same natural sun floors goes all the way in, water closet on the right, LED lit mirror, and we have this beautiful fabricated vanity design here with a hidden drain. Now, getting back out and continuing our tour on the great room, we have this amazing open space facing the incredible views, nice comfortable seating area. I like the light fixture above. And just like the primary bedroom suite, we have the fireplace design here, clad with stainless steel. And behind the seating area, we have some open shelving. And right next to that, this awesome bar setup with dual elevation, your wine fridge, regular fridge, sink, you name it, they have it with some open shelving. That way you can serve some drinks here and even at your bar, you can enjoy the amazing views. In fact, Mikey, let's show everyone. We have all these glass panels facing the views and the wraparound balcony, sliding glass doors here, open up to that balcony. And now continuing here, right next to the seating area, we have the dining room. Beautiful table that sits eight people right in the center. We have this awesome chandelier. And what I like about this space is the fact that it's all open so you can still enjoy your views while sitting down here. Or you can look at this side to your awesome, kind of futuristic staircase design. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Right? Now, Mikey, on the other side of the dining area, we have an additional seating section. And again, you can get a little bit closer to the edge and look at these views. Now, let's continue our tour. Right next to the landing of the staircase, we have this door opening up to the kitchen and the informal dining area. Now, like the rest of the home, this part of the house is all open. We have the dining area connected to the kitchen. First, I wanna cover here, seating for six. And what's so great about this space is the fact that you have additional sliding glass doors here, opening up to a balcony just dedicated for the kitchen. Now, before we continue this side, Mikey, I wanna take everybody here, small hallway. Door opens up to your outdoor balcony access, and there's actually an outdoor staircase going down to the first floor of this property that we're gonna see in a bit. Nice. The door behind me opens up to a small office with built-ins, a desk set up right in the center, gets the job done, or it could be utilized as a bedroom as well, because right next to that, we have a full bathroom. Same floor patterns are also here. Gloss finish on this floating vanity design, brass details. I love the mirror design and this natural stone back wall goes all the way into the top setup. Again, more brass fixtures, good looking bathroom. Very nice. Now let's go back into the kitchen area and start our tour of the kitchen. We have some built-ins here with a nice seating section, flat panel cabinetry throughout, good sized kitchen. I mean, you have your bar seating here, first sink, two dishwashers, Another sink right in the center on this island, and they did a nice color contrast between the white, lighter tone countertops with waterfall edge and this darker tone natural stone right in the center. Now, there are a couple more details here. Built-in appliances, Miele espresso maker, warming drawer, all that good stuff. And you have this massive fridge assembly right in the center, all sub-zero. And Mikey, there's a detail I really wanna show you. Ready? Mm -hmm. We mentioned it at the beginning of this video. This is. PDD's old home in Beverly Hills for Puff only. Yeah. That's the original label that they had when he used to live here. I love when celebrities uh, like the own, their own products, you know? Like when they endorse their own products and they actually enjoy them. Like, I think we need to get a mansion so, you know, we, we can, can have it. our own mansion. Yeah, now that you're technically a celebrity, right? I don't know about that. That's a big <laughs> claim. Um, but yeah, this used to be Diddy's home. Super cool, I love Diddy. If you're watching this video, we will love to meet you. Maybe to your current home, let us know in the comments below. That's right. Now, let's continue our tour, Mikey. More built-ins here. I mean, it's a spacious kitchen. You have your pantry here, door connecting to your great room and more cabinetry on this side. I like the under cabinet lighting here. And of course, on this wing, we have the 48 inch Wolf gas stove commercial vent above, nice backsplash detail, great kitchen. Now, Mikey, I wanna take everybody outside. I feel like this property is all about the views. So that's why every single floor, I wanna take everybody to the outdoors. Like I mentioned earlier, this balcony is dedicated to the kitchen area. I mean, look at this, it's nice and quiet. You're 10 minutes away from Beverly Hills. Views are great. 
you can literally leave these sliding glass doors open. Enjoy the breeze coming into the property. Yeah, it's really nice. The sun's going down. We're running out of time. Let's go see that backyard. Let's do it. Here we are on the first floor now. Before we continue our tour, I wanna to turn back and talk about the staircase design. I love the stainless steel details, glass railing, nice modern element. And continuing here, Mikey, we have this long walkway that takes us to the guest suites. I'm gonna start with the one right at the end. It's one of the spacious bedrooms. It starts right here. And another walkway takes us straight into the bedroom. Same hardwood floors, nice spacious room. We have the built-in desk set up here with some open shelving king-size bed, and of course, sliding glass doors open up to the views. In fact, all these three guest suites that we're gonna see have a balcony that connects them to each other and it leads them to the backyard. And Mikey, continuing our tour, walk-in closet, and this door right here opens up to the spacious bathroom. Again, stone clad throughout, nice vanity design here, again with the brass details, walk-in shower at the end with the rain head above, everything you need. Now, instead of going back to the hallway, why don't we go this way? To the balcony and go check out the second guest suite that starts right here all the bedrooms in this house are very spacious they all have king size beds nice ceiling heights sliding glass doors and just like the other bedroom you have a walk-in closet here and a bathroom on this side i love how each bathroom gets a different kind of vanity design in this case we have the floating vanity here gloss finish and i love the two open shelving on each side of the vanity, LED lit mirror, and the stone back wall goes all the way into the walk-in shower. Now, coming back to the hallway again, let's go check out the last guest suite. This is the elevator door, and the last guest suite starts right here. Pretty much the same finishes, and again, all these bedrooms are super spacious. They all have sliding glass doors. We have the walk-in closet here full bathroom on this side, a little bit more of the darker tones here. And again, you can see the nice contrast with the brass fixtures. Now, let's go back to the hallway and check out the living room on this level. In fact, we're gonna meet one of the listing agents and a developer slash co-listing agent of this property. We have Dex and Alex here. And it's good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Nice play, and right? Alex, Thanks good to coming. see you as well. These are the guys behind this project, so I wanted to feature them, in fact, you guys show us around for the living room. Yes, yeah, so you got your sunken living room, what we call, because you walk down the stairs. This yep. is actually the second living room in the property. Correct. As you guys saw, there's one on the second floor. And we wanted to highlight the star of this room, which is obviously the view. And so that's why we've skewed the, the couches in a certain way. So you can sit down, enjoy the view, hang out by the fireplace and relax. I was gonna say, I love the ceiling heights here. Nice contrast on the ceiling with yep. the beam details. LED lighting right in the center. What's the brand for those light fixtures? Yeah, so they're from La Cava. Okay. Italian brand. It looks super sleek. It's called the Admiral Light. There you go. Now, the same stainless steel uh, fireplace design is also here. I love the banding that they have also. And around the corner, we have a wet bar, right? Yep. Yes, yeah, so every single floor of this house, there's three, has a wet bar because this is an entertainer's dream. It's Diddy's right? old home, so it yes. doesn't get much better. Now, this whole room flows to the outdoors. Let's, in fact, go check out the backyard. I know you guys got an infinity edge pool here, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned it to the audience. All those bedrooms connect to this balcony that yes. leads you to the backyard, right? Yes, with picture frame windows. No, I told the audience that uh, this home has been recently remodeled. Yes. Tell us some of the procedures and things you guys had to kind of update and get this home to this point. Yeah, so the, the house had extensive 90% renovations. It took over two years to completely strip down the old house. We kept the original frame. We added this amazing, you know, courtyard area here by the pool so you can come out with the open windows. Redid all the structural elements for the house. Completely resealed everything. All new tiling, new facade, new interiors. It was a really big project. Took longer than we expected due to COVID. Took us nearly two years to complete the project. I, I wanted to ask you a couple more questions. The fact that this home is on the hillside, did that make it any more difficult? It makes it exceptionally hard. Except, you know, hard. cover materials up and down the hill and especially like support structural elements. Otherwise you can't have these views. It's all about the views. Now we also have an infinity edge pool with a little bit of a raised spa. 
Tell us what you guys have to do here to kind of bring it to this point. So we had to strip the pool completely. All these tiles, you know, over the years had disintegrated. We had to take everything out, make sure to protect it, reseal the pool, brand new tiling, re-waterproof the edges, put this new drain line in mm -hmm. so that, you know, the water can overflow through because this is a new patio deck and you have the barbecue grill over there. And, you know, now it's pristine. You know, we got the jacuzzi tub, it's ready to go. I feel like it really takes the experience to the next level. Yes. You got a nice built-in barbecue area around the corner. I mean, you have Paul Allen's home down below. It's a nice prestigious neighborhood. In fact, we've actually toured the home next door, yeah. which is like a 30 plus million dollar home. So you're in a great area. Now, another question. I mentioned it to the audience earlier. This used to be Diddy's old home. Yes, it did. That's all I know. Tell us a little bit more about it. He lived here for about four years, okay. and let's just say, according to the neighbors, Paul Allen and the other side, he had a lot of fun here. Okay. He used it, what this house is meant to be used for, which is entertainment. He had a can lot we, of can events we, here. Can we say he entertained maybe a little too much? He entertained a good amount, yeah. <laughs> okay. oh, oh, above average. <laughs> okay, fair average. enough. Which is one of the reasons we needed to update, of course. But I mean, from what we heard, this, the moment he walked in, he saw the pool and he saw the view, and he's like, where do I sign? right? Because obviously this is irreplaceable. And so he lived here for three, four years, and then he purchased his property in Truesdale, and this became his pied de terre until he moved out. Gotcha. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, I totally get the views. The moment you walk into the property from the top floor all yeah. the way down here, every single room faces this amazing view, which is phenomenal. Now, on our videos, we check out the properties during the day, and we check them out at night. So if you guys are cool with it, we want to stay a couple more hours here so we can catch this place at night. Of course, definitely. That's it for the tour. What an amazing property. I want to give big thanks to Dex and Alex for getting us in here, allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And as always, you can find more information about the property down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.